myself vidyashree c today i am going to present role of microorganisms in pesticide degradation first introduction uh, pesticides means it is any substance used to kill repel or control certain forms of plants or animals life that are considered to be pest that means it is a chemical used to kill some insects pesticides like insecticides pesticides fungicides and various other substances that are used to control and inhibit plant diseases and insects uh, the positive aspect of application of pesticides are it is helpful to product more crops and also reduce diseases in crop however excessive use of these chemicals leads to microbial imbalance environmental pollution and some health hazards however the therefore the microorganisms play a very important role in the degradation of some pesticides some types of pesticides herbicides fungicides insecticides rodenticides herbicides means it uses to control the growth of unwanted plants that means weeds uh, examples for herbicides paraquat bromoxynil fungicides means it uses to destroy the fungus and their spore like molds rusts example captain next insecticides it is used for killing insects mainly it is used in agricultural public health household and commercial uses uh, for example uh, carbom carbamil next is rodenticides uh, it is a poison used to kill rodents like rats mice and also squirrels example red squirrel next why we need to use pesticides because of the population pressure because of the increasing population we need more food and food security protect the food from all types of pest rodents and also to get higher yield using some chemicals we can get higher yields next sir benefits of pesticides in agriculture we can see pesticides are widely used in agriculture first one is produces more crops in lesser land because of the more population nowadays the land becoming lesser so we need to produce more crops as well as it helps to prevent humans livestock diseases and also it mainly control the disease which harms plants and it keeps deforestation and soil erosion in check and helps again food sufficiency impacts of pesticides that means disadvantages are harmful mainly it impacts health uh, mainly it causes fertility and reproduction problems diabetes obesity degenerative diseases like parkinson's cancer asthma depression etc it also harmful for the pregnant mother and the children causes disruptions to endocrine system childhood cancers neurodevelopmental issues and other disorders disorders uh, drains economics means it causes illness and injury and also because of this the we, uh, the farmers can lost the work days if there is no work means they can't earn the money and also incorrect usage of uh, uh, pesticides affects yields it also decreases biodiversity means it uh, decreases bees and pollinators beneficial insects birds mammals aquatic animals etc and also it impacts on water soil and air run off contaminates surface and ground water soil microorganisms and earthworms are poison affecting soil fertility and contaminates air rain fog and snow next slide, slide sir so we are using these pesticides how long years pesticides remain on the earth for example pesticides like aldrin 
chlordane ddt dyring is persist in the environment more than 15 years and as well as pcp more than 16 years so we need to the degrade these pesticides next slide sir some microorganisms play an important role in the uh, degradation of these pesticides some examples of microorganisms are uh, bacteria like acromobacter aerobacter aerogens pseudomonas species agrobacterium this bacteria bacteria helps to degrade the pesticides like ddt dyldrin endri etc uh, some fungi like penicillium chrysogenum trichoderma viride aspergillus is candida tropicals helps to degrade the pesticides like parathion malathion phenols etc next uh, degradation of pesticides uh, microorganisms play an important role in the degradation but here sometimes there is some pesticides dig totally from its toxic toxic forms to non toxic form it is called a total degradation sometimes uh, it will not degrade totally some part still remain in the environment it is called as a recalcitrant next some factors affecting biodegradation the factors are chemical nature of the pesticide which is the most important factor the capability of the individual microorganisms nutrient and oxygen supply the temperature ph value redox potential means oxidation reduction potential these are the factors next of microorganisms in degradation of pesticides it is very important to degrade the pesticides some microorganisms play the role biodegradation is the process by which a pesticide is transformed into benign substance benign substance means not harmful that is environmentally compatible with the site to which it was applied the degradation of pesticides can occur in plants animals and in the soil and water pesticides can be degraded by microbial chemical and photo degradation processes in the environment however the most common type of degradation is carried out in the soil by organisms especially fungi and bacteria that use pesticides as a food source soil conditions such as moisture temperature aeration ph and the amount of organic matter affect in the rate of microbial degradation because of their direct influence on the microbial growth and activity sir so next the soil fumigant methyl bromide the herbicide dalafon and the fungicide chloronep are examples of pesticides which are degraded by microorganisms bacteria responsible for biodegradations are flavobacterium azetobacter species pseudomonas azetobacter etc fungi like aspergillus niger penicillium oxysporum etc can also degrade and detoxify pesticides so next now we will see some examples of degradation first is ddt almost we know dichloro diphenyl trichloroene probably the more widely recognized instance of a chlorinated insecticide this chemical has been used extensively as an insecticide to manage a variety of insect pests however its usage has been prohibited or restricted in numerous nations due to its harmful effects the major breakdown products of ddt are dde that means dichloro diphenyl dichloroethylene and ddd dichloro diphenyl dichloroethene which are chlorination products the path can be either ddt 
DDE, DDD or DDT, DDD. DDE is quickly dechlorinated anaerobically uh, with the absence of oxygen. Uh, DDNU and then to further compounds. The major of microorganisms involved in DDT breakdown are bacteria, particularly soil inhabitants belonging to the genera Bacillus, Pseudomonas, Arthrobacter, and Micrococcus. Pseudomonas putida converts DD to several compounds and are anaerobic conditions. In aerobic conditions, ring clavage means breakdown. Yield p chlorophenyl acetic acid that in turn serve as a substrate for an Arthrobacter species. So next. One more example is carbamates. Carbamates were introduced as a pesticides in the early 1950s and continue to be widely utilized as a result of their efficacy and broad spectrum of biological action. They are substitutes for highly stable organochlorines like DDT, carbofuran hydrolase is primarily responsible for the hydrolysis of the methyl carbamate bond during pesticide degradation. Pseudomonas, Flavobacterium, Acromobacterium, Sphingomonas and Arthrobacter are the genera containing strains capable of digesting carbamate. Next, microbial metabolism of synthetic compounds means uh, chemical changes that takes place in the cell or organism. A number of microorganisms including Pseudomonas aerogenous, Pseudomonas futida, Pseudomonas cypacea, etc. are able to metabolize naturally occurring organic as well as a number of synthetic compounds. The genes responsible for dissimulation of these compounds are often located on Plasmids, uh, it means a small circular DNA molecules found in microorganisms. The transmissible nature of plasmids may lead to rapid spread to the microbial conertia of genes encoding metabolic enzymes required to degrade man-made toxic compounds. The enzymes involved in the catalysis of many of these herbicides and pesticides can generally be grouped into two classes. There are hydrolases such as esterases, amidases, and halidohydrolases, which mediate the transfer of chemical groups to water, and oxidoreductases consisting of dehydrogenases and oxygenases, which require NAD plus or NADP plus as hydrogen acceptors. Sir. Next, the mechanism of microbial degradation of pesticides. It mainly divided into two classes. One is a class of microorganisms directly on the role of pesticides, means enzymatic reaction. It is often said that pesticides microbial degradation belongs to this class. And one more class is uh, the microorganisms that change the physical and environment indirectly applied to pesticides. On pesticides, common mode of actions include uh, mineralization, co-metabolism, bioconcentration, as well as microbial effects. The enzymatic reactions in, in the microbial breakdown of pesticides are, uh, it takes place, the steps are oxidation, dehydration, reduction, hydrolysis, and synthesis. When intracellular enzymes are responsible for the destruction of microbial pesticides, the entire degradation process consists of uh, next to three steps. The steps are the next. The steps are one is adsorption. Adsorption of pesticides on the surface of microbial cells is a dynamic equilibrium that leads to the rapid breakdown of the pesticides phase crucial of the lag phase next is pesticides permeate the cell membrane the permeability of the cell membrane and pesticide penetration of the cell membrane is the degradation rate limiting step this pesticide penetration rate is highly related to the to their molecular structural factors
Next, pesticides in the cell membrane are rapidly degraded through an enzymatic reactions involving the degrading enzyme. And the next, last, there are some methods that is used to degrade the microbial uh, pesticides. First one is mineralization. Mineralization means uh, it is the optimal method of degradation, means most favorable method. This is due to the complete degradation of the pesticides into non-toxic inorganic substance. And another is detoxification. Detoxification, uh, detoxification means the conversion of toxicants to innocuous metabolites means it is not harmful next to co-metabolism some synthetic chemicals cannot be destroyed by microorganisms but in the presence of another carbon matrix and energy they can be partially decomposed this phenomenon is known as co-metabolism uh, totally it is very important to degrade the pesticides thank you for the opportunity thank you sir Thank you for your presentation. Do we have any presenters today? Thank you, sir.